That's right, guys. We are going on tour. Dobetour.com. Make sure you guys buy your tickets. They are selling out quick. Guys, get your tickets before they're all sold out. Get your tickets right now. I want to meet all of you. Bro, like I said, we should call the cops yeah. so they can open it for us. Like we said, guys, we still haven't moved the box um, ever since we got it out of the water. But if, if, you, if you guys don't know this, we literally saw this in our pool one day. And yeah, we couldn't open it ever since. Yeah, we still couldn't open it. Um, Marcus and I, um, we had a really good idea. We do know our, one of our cop friends. He's, he's a police officer and... We feel like we should call him before we do anything. We'll try to open this box even more because you know we, we, we never know what's in it. Yeah. So do you want to call him? Yeah, I actually don't have my phone on me. All right, go get your phone. All right, can you call him? No, I don't have my phone either. We use Steve's phone. Yo, we got to open this. We don't know what it is. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to help us open it. Uh, I just hope he has the right materials to open this. I think he will. Marcus, what are you doing? Don't pick it up. Just leave it there. Really? Yeah, just leave it there so he can handle all of it. Hey, officer. Um, do you think you can stop by a house really quick? Like, we need help with something. Um, what, what else? Right? This, this is Lucas and Marcus. Exactly what's going on, guys? Yeah, this is Lucas and Marcus. We're like near the pool area. So, oh, is this the dope race? Yeah, yeah. If you could like stop by for like maybe like ten minutes, that'd be good. Sure. Okay. We'll be on. Our, I'll be on my way. All right. We're like near the pool area. Okay, guys. I'll see you then. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you. We gotta get it resolved. Um, we gotta, oh, I don't think you should be doing that. Like, who knows what's in the box? I can't wait to see what's in there. I mean, yeah, we're just waiting. Oh, he's coming. Is that him? Is that him? That is him, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming. Mm. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's just wait at the front door. Come on. Yeah, wh whoever dropped that treasure box in our in our pool, we're gonna get we're gonna get you caught, and we're definitely gonna find out what's in the box. You got here pretty quick. What's up, guys? Hey, man. Good. Good. Good to see you, brother. How are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, what's up, brother? Didn't recognize you. You didn't come look at the show. So, um, one day we were outside and we just saw like a big box in the pool and we didn't know what to do. So. It happened like a week ago, right? Yeah. Inside the pool. Yeah, yeah it was like deep inside the pool. So yeah, we tried to open it, but like we couldn't get it open. No. Yeah. Okay, we'll take care of you guys. It's right this way. You didn't move it around a lot, did you? Just pulled it right out of the pool and set yeah. it down. We kind of yeah. it. Okay. It's like an old army crate. Yeah. When did you find it in the pool? Um, I think it was, it was around a week ago. Yeah, I think it was last weekend. Okay. Did you guys pick up on anything on the cameras? Nah, not really. It has like a lock on it. You guys see what's written on the back? Yeah, but we couldn't like really, we don't really know what it says. It's a, uh, yeah, two, it's a military case. Belongs to a Lieutenant Earhart. Huh, that's definitely strange. Why don't we do this, guys? Um, you guys tried to open it up already? Yeah, there's a lock on it. Okay, why don't we just play it safe? Let me just have my dog, my dog run around it and just have him sniff it out and just make sure he doesn't lure on anything, and then we'll get it open and see what's in there for you guys, okay? You All think right. we should move it or just leave it here? Yeah, you can leave it here. That's fine. That's right. fine. I'll bring my dog up for you. All right, thank you. Okay, okay guys. Here. Sure. Thank you. You will. I guess we just wait. And like, I don't know. I don't know. It belongs like military. Yeah. I thought it was just a treasure box. We just wait. Let's move it, bro. Let's move it? Yeah. You said like not to, though. Yeah, we'll give it more space. Like, there's no space to work. Move mm -hmm. it on the grass? Or what? Yeah, let's move it on the grass. You guys sure about this? Yeah. We'll just tell them that we moved it on the grass. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, you just want to stand over there for me? Yeah. Cut. Cut. What is it? We'll find it? Hey guys, he alerted it. This. I wanted to stand back a little bit. There could be something harmful inside of here. What do you think it is? It's a good boy. Ooh, it's a good boy. I don't know guys. Let me um let me go put him up and um let me come back with some of my tools, okay? Okay. Good boy. Ooh, yeah, good boy. What do you think it is? Bro, the dog literally put his hand on the box. It's 
probably something harmful in there, right? Man, we should probably back up away from the box. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, see, <laughs> I'm not trying to take any chance with my yeah, life right yeah, now. Yeah, he like, like came and like did it. Like, should we ask him like, what do we do next? Like, yeah. I mean, let's go up to. I'm kind of scared what it is now, right? Yeah, I mean, it's coming back. What is he bringing? It was not like harmful. All right, guys, you just want to hang back here for me and I'll go ahead and take a look, okay? Are you going to open it? Well, not right now. I, I got some tools to sort of detect some things that might be in it, and then I'm going to see if I can possibly uh, use like a snake scope to possibly look inside and see what's in there, okay? Is everything okay? Like, or... I don't know. How long was it in the water? Do you know how long it was submerged? No, uh, we don't know. You guys haven't heard it make any kind of a noise or anything, have you? No. 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 I have to stand back a little bit. Were you guys out of town when this got put in there? Or was it put in at night? Nah, we don't know. We kind of just like woke up to it. It was like when we like came out and saw it, like it was like still floating in the water. Right? Oh, it was floating. It, it was on the same? top. It was on the top, and then it sunk down. Really? Yeah. So it was probably just put in there then. So you guys said it was initially floating, and then it sunk. Yeah. It's like okay. That would just, would just lead me to believe that uh, it, was, it was recently put in. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. I'm just waiting to read his hands. Anything yet? Yeah, let's make sure there's no trip wires or nothing that will hurt me. And also, just seeing if there's any, any indicators of what might be in there. A lot of times, people will put stuff in there and it'll start leaking out. Or Steve, what do you think we should do? I don't know, man. Just let him handle it. I mean, my dog did alert on it, meaning that there is there is something in here that he's trained to detect. Just a matter of what that is. It, it appears stable enough for me to pick up and move. Um, I'd rather not open it on property, just because I can tell from the outside there is nothing that would trigger anything by me touching it. But once I open that lock, I don't know. So I, I'd prefer to take it back to the you know the sheriff's office and deal with it there. I could, you know, obviously I would let you guys know what happens, but. I just don't feel comfortable opening it on your property. I mean, it's okay. You can open it here. You sure? I mean, like, I don't know. Like, are you allowed to? Are we allowed to? Or I, I, I mean, I, I'd rather not. I mean, it's up, it's up to you. My dog did alert on it, so it has me a little concerned. Yo, this is so crazy. Yeah, he went to his truck to try to go get more material. I think he's gonna try to open it now. Bro, this is not. I don't bro, even know. Bro, who would do such a thing like this? Yo? I don't know. I don't know. Look, look at it, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's literally like. It's actually like surrounded by. Do not touch. The... It's actually like a scene now. Like, yeah. It's crazy. All right, guys. So I'm, just, I'm gonna turn it around just, just to uh, have a better angle at it, better view. Are you yeah. gonna try to open it now. Or... I'm gonna try. Yeah, guys. I'd rather do that here than to have to take it back to the office. You guys, you guys should probably should back up. Just come here. Come here. Come this way. Come this way. Got a lot of weight to it, guys. Anything coming from it? It's definitely extremely heavy and solid. Whatever's inside of it. Can you help with anything or no? No, I'm good. Thanks, guys. Just gonna try to get it opened here best I can. Try to pick this lock. <laughs> Nothing showed up on your security video, almost. No. They must have blacked it out. There's something jammed in this lock. They've intentionally jammed it. I mean, I I can't pick it with what I have. Yeah. You mind like keep trying, maybe? Yeah. Let me just be, got to be a little more forceful with it though, but I'm going to try to get in through the hinges then. You got it? Yeah. Go, go, go! Back up! Seriously, dude, back up! What happened? Back up, back up! Snow What's going on? What is that? I don't know, guys. That's not good. Back up, man. Seriously, back up. Got to call for some more cars. Dude, I got to call my whole unit and give me 100 yards, man. Back up, uh -oh. back up. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like it's on fire. It does. Back up, guys. Back up. What should we do now? Start with the entire EOD in the place. It looks like it's on fire, bro. What should we do? Just give it, give it back 100 feet, man. 100 yards. Okay, okay. Hey, guys, you gotta back up, man. I'm serious. That, that's all right, all right, back, back up, back up, back up. Get everyone out of the house. I'm serious. That, that's no joke, guys. All right, guys, look, I got my entire unit coming. Also, the fire department coming by just to play it safe. Um, just 
do me a favor, just again, 100 yards away from it. I'm gonna stay here during the interim, but I just can't risk having someone get close to it and make sure everyone's out of the house as well, okay? Okay. All right, guys.